Last week, Adam, Matt, and I planted some of our hidey hole food plots with the new Genesis no-till drill. In past years, I'd used a no-till drill that was tongue mount, and it took about a five-point turn to turn it around. And this was amplified in our smaller plots. The Genesis is mounted on the three-point hitch system, so we simply pick it up, back the tractor up where we want it, and take off planting. Get to the other end, do about a two-point turn, and go the other way. In the small plots, we cut our planting time in about half by using a three-point hitch mount versus a tongue mount drill. It's been wicked dry here at the Proving Grounds. We're about eight inches behind normal, but we received a quarter inch of rain last night and more in the forecast, so it's the perfect time to put some seed in the ground. Because we're so dry, the best chance for success is making sure that seed is placed at just the right depth. Of course, you can't accomplish that with disking it in or even broadcasting, so we're going to use the Genesis no-till drill. It's designed to allow us to get the seed at the right depth and the right rate per acre. You know, too many seeds per acre is too much competition for nutrients and moisture, and not enough seeds will allow weeds to grow up in between or the deer to wipe out the plot before hunting season. This morning we're planting Eagle Seeds Gamekeeper Blend. I really like that blend because it's got a big portion of the whitetail thicket in there. Whitetail thicket's a viney type soybean that handles browse pressure better than any soybean I've ever tried. We're gonna put some seed in the hopper, do some calibration, and go plant. It's always important before you start planting not to simply just pour some seed in the hopper, but calibrate the drill. Calibration required a lot of time with our O drill because we had to lay tarps or quilts down on the ground, try to catch the seed, weigh it, and put it back in. But the Genesis has a built-in calibration tray. Seeds in the hopper, and the next step is calibrating the drill. That's easy with the Genesis as I remove two bolts, turn this over, and it becomes a seed tray catching all the seed, which makes it easy to weigh and adjust the drill for the right calibration. I'm ready to calibrate. With the calibration tray, we simply add seed to the hopper, turn the ground wheel the appropriate number of times, pull the calibration tray out, dump that in the bucket, weigh the seed, and adjust the drill. I weighed a smaller container, subtract out the weight of the bucket so I know the weight of seed that was planted per thousand square feet, multiply that times 42.3, and that tells me how many ounces I planted per acre. Divide that by 16, tells me how many pounds I planted per acre. We calibrate each year because seed size can actually change a little bit. A wet growing season will result in larger seeds. In a dry growing season, seeds will be smaller, changing the amount of seeds per pound. A couple of easy ways to adjust the amount of seed coming out of a Genesis drill. This knob controls the seed hopper, basically the amount of space open as seed can come through. And each meter, seed meter, can go between one and four, again, opening this way. So we adjust the whole size this way and this way, and that controls the amount of seed drop per square foot. soybeans, especially in this rocky poor environment like here in the Ozark Mountains, is using inoculant. Inoculant is the living bacteria that attaches to the seed and actually to the plant and helps that plant take nitrogen out of the air called fixing nitrogen. That's a huge cost savings, makes better plants, healthier deer. I simply take a little inoculant and there's usually a scoop provided that will tell you how much to use per bag. Evenly spread that across the seed. The inoculant's very fine, so it will settle down, get on the side of the seed drill. It just takes a microscopic amount for each seed. Now here's the thing. A lot of people use what they call a stickum, something liquid to stick the inoculant to the seed. That's not necessary. In fact, some people use soda pops, which are highly acidic, and that will kill the inoculant. If you're applying inoculant with soda pop, you're probably doing more damage than good. The drill was last used where there's really high quality soil, so we adjusted where the seed wouldn't be too deep. But here in the rocky soil of the proving grounds, we're gonna move the pin, which is really simple to do, and allow the drill to place the seed as deep as it can.
Right here I've got a rotten turnip, which is a nutrient release package, just like slow release fertilizer. Drill came right through here, deposited seed right here. These nutrients are gonna decay, be ready for that root system. This is perfect versus disking up and putting too much oxygen in soil, which allows all this to decompose quickly. Slow release fertilizer through vegetation is what built the great prairie that helps us grow better deer. Using a no-till drill has been a huge part of this process. Minimal soil disturbance means minimal erosion. And by only terminating the cover crop and drilling right through it, means that vegetation decomposes slowly right on top of the food plot, converting into black dirt.